in this video we are going to talk about antenna aperture and its effective height so before going to that let us uh, quickly see what is antenna resolution so antenna resolution is denoted in terms of angle and it is the smallest angle uh, by which a receiving antenna can discern or differentiate between two transmitting sources so let us understand uh, this by this example so suppose you have an a receiving antenna here which is basically uh, a dth or television dth antenna and suppose you have two tv uh, satellites uh, in the geostationary orbit so suppose if first tv satellite orbit is uh, in this direction and second tv satellite orbit is in like uh, is in this direction and let me call this angle between these uh, two lines the the lines which are connecting these satellites to this receiver antenna is theta angle then what is the minimum angle theta uh, over which if these two satellites these two uh, tv satellites are placed when this antenna can differentiate the signals between these two satellites so if this uh, theta is very small um, then these two satellites can be placed very near to each other but if this theta is very large suppose this theta is uh, 30 degree so in that case uh, these two satellites must be placed at the distance of 30 degree uh, from each other in the geostationary orbit with regard to the receiving antenna uh, so that the signals from these two satellites can be differentiated or if the this antenna can understand that this is the signal from the satellite a and this is the signal from satellite b if the if the resolution of this antenna is 30 degree and suppose if this satellite b is placed here at suppose 10 degree then this antenna receiving antenna will not be able to decide whether this signal is coming from a or b so At the antenna resolution is that angle that minimum angle over which the receiving antenna can differentiate between the two sources um, uh, for reception so uh, in mathematic terms this antenna resolution is defined by by the this formula this fn bw you know the beam width between first nulls divided by 2 and this is almost equal to half power beam width hp bw so these two terms you already know from previous lectures so antenna resolution is almost equal to half power beam width right now let us quickly go to antenna aperture so suppose you have an antenna whose surface area which is facing the incoming radio wave is given as ap so suppose the um, antenna surface area is ap and some radio waves are coming here so uh, in all our talk we have defined the the power uh, incoming at any antenna or power going out from any antenna in terms of power density so let me call this power density as s so suppose that power density of s is coming at a receiving antenna whose physical uh, area is collecting area is ap so what will be the total power received by this antenna we can say that the total power received by this antenna is going to be the power density s which is at the surface of this antenna multiplied by the physical uh, uh, dimension or physical area of this antenna ap but this formula does not apply generally why because the current and voltage distribution across this surface of the antenna is always non uniform uh, how can i show this to you let me show you suppose you have a dipole antenna and this dipole antenna is basically half wave dipole antenna which means the length of this dipole antenna is lambda by 2 and what is the lambda lambda is the wavelength of the operating frequency so if the length of the dipole antenna is lambda by 2 means at any time if you consider voltage or current wave the distribution of current is going to be one half wavelength of the full sinusoidal circuit across this the length of this uh, particular antenna so this means that uh, at this point 
the current value is going to be minimum in the center point the current is going to be maximum and again towards the corner the current is going to be minimum so since the voltage and currents are fluctuating across the length of this uh, antenna the distribution of this current is always going to be non uniform so because of this factor the effective area of this antenna is always going to be less than the uh, actual surface area of the antenna so always the effective area is less than the physical area collection area of any antenna so uh, let us go here so if we have to talk about the total power received by this antenna is going to be the multiplication of s times ae not ap a a is the effective area of that particular antenna now there is a term called aperture efficiency it is given by the ratio of effective area divided by physical area of that particular antenna now uh, how do we uh, relate effective area with uh, other quantities so there is a formula which relates effective area of antenna with uh, the antenna beam uh, angle which is given as a is equal to lambda square upon omega a so omega a is the beam area we have already discussed about this so you should remember this formula now from the previous lecture we saw that uh, directivity is defined as 4 pi divided by omega a which is 4 pi divided by solid angle um, or uh, beam area of any antenna so from here we can put omega a as 4 pi upon d so we are going to put this thing in this effective aperture antenna and uh, and effective aperture of any antenna and we will get this formula so we will get directivity as 4 pi times effective area divided by lambda square so we get another formula of uh, directivity so which formulas uh, did we have for directivity we had the first formula as uh, total power density in uh, maximum divided by average power density which was basically the isotropic power density the second formula we had d is equal to 4 pi upon omega a which is the beam solid angle and the the latest formula we got is in the terms of effective area as d is equal to 4 pi a upon lambda square so you must remember all this formula because questions can come from here so uh, from this formula the last formula we can define effective area of any antenna as d lambda square upon 4 pi so this is a uh, very important formula of uh, calculating effective area and if if you are talking about isotropic radiator then this d will become 1 and you will have the formula of effective area as this 0.0796 lambda square now coming to the height of antenna height of antenna is highly related to the antenna aperture and as i said that the physical dimension of antenna uh suppose if the physical area of antenna was ap then the total power received was not the multiplication of ap with the power density it was the multiplication of power density with effective area similarly if suppose we have an a dipole antenna whose height is h right and uh, suppose uh, an electromagnetic wave impinged impinges on this antenna and its value is e so what should be the voltage across this antenna so definitely your answer would be v is equal to e into h by simple uh, definition of electric field and voltage v is equal to e into h but uh, in practice this does not happen because for this formula to hold the distribution of this electric field or the current inside this antenna should be uniform but this does not happen as you see as you say uh, you know that the distribution of uh, current or voltage is non uniform across uh, the length of the antenna because the frequency of the voltage and currents and electric field are uh, are or we can say that the wavelength of the voltage or current at which we are working are comparable to the dimension of 
antenna so that is why we talk about a term called he effective height which uh, works in place of the actual height so using this effective height our voltage is equal to e times he this effective height is generally less than the actual physical height of the antenna so physical height of antenna we can also say it as hp as written here so uh, by definition the effective height of antenna is equal to integration of suppose this length is physical length of this antenna is 0 to hp this is the physical actual length of antenna so we will take the uh, and suppose the current distribution uh, i am taking this as the positive z direction and taking the current distribution as iz so the effective height of antenna will be equal to integration of this uh, current iz over the length of this antenna divided by the average antenna so this i not is basically i av average so he is equal to i average which uh, is like this and uh, here he is the effective height hp is the physical height and i average is the average current in the wire so this is a formula for the effective height of the antenna now if uh, uh, you know that uh, if there is an antenna which is radiating some electromagnetic waves outside and suppose the voltage induced across its terminals is v there is a term called radiation resistance we will be discussing about this later so radiation resistance which is r denoted as rr is a very important uh, uh, parameter of antenna which defines the efficiency of antenna uh, defines that total power which is p which is being radiated from the antenna will be given by v square upon 4 rr and you know that v is equal to we just saw that v is equal to e into he so this is h h e so i have replaced this v square by h e square e square divided by 4 rr so this is your equation number 1 for the total power radiated from an antenna and then you can also define the total power radiated from an antenna as the power density or the pointing uh, vector magnitude multiplied by effective uh, area of antenna so these this is equation 2 and since these both these things are equal we can equate these equations and we can find the effective height of antenna in terms of effective area so this is how we can say that uh, effective height of antenna and effective area of antennas are related thank you